you have any 1099 income, then tax write-offs are your best friend. They may sound complex and intimidating, but I am here to break it down for you. What is up everybody? My name is Tyra and welcome to Keeper Tax, your one-stop shop for all things 1099 taxes. Here on this channel, we create resources for freelancers, independent contractors, gig workers, and anyone else who files or should be filing business taxes. Welcome back to 1099 Tax University where I give you the tax content you need to set yourself up for success as a gig worker. In today's video, we will be taking a deep dive into how 1099 tax write-offs actually work. When I first began filing self-employed taxes, I had absolutely no clue what I was doing and I needed a resource just like this so I could file my taxes confidently. So if you are ready to file your taxes confidently, write down in the comments, I am locked and loaded. And let's jump into the video. David, a write-off is a business expense used to reduce your taxable income. Okay, well then why isn't it called a tax write-off? It is! Now, as you can see by that video clip, tax write-offs can be hard to understand, but today we are going to simplify it a little bit for you. A tax deduction, also known as a tax write-off, is a work-related purchase that you can claim to get a bigger tax refund, meaning giving the government less of the money that you earned. Let's do a simple math equation to put it into perspective for you. So if you made $10,000 in your business as a freelancer or gig worker and you had tax write-offs totaling $2,000, now this can include things like car expenses, equipment, or even Wi-Fi. So if those deductions total $2,000, that amount will be deducted from your total income of $10,000, leaving $8,000. This $8,000 is what the IRS will use as your total taxable income, even though you made a total of $10,000 for the tax year. So another way to think about it is a 15 to 40% discount, depending on what your income tax bracket is, on whatever you bought for your business or needed to purchase to perform your job effectively and efficiently. With a W-2 job, we cannot write off any expenses to lower our taxable income. But as freelancers, we try to reduce our income from freelancing with as many expense deductions as possible. And that's why it is so important to use a 1099 tracker to record all of your bills. But we'll touch on that in another episode of Tax University. But for now, I have linked the 1099 tracker down in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Now that you know what a 1099 tax deduction is, I'm gonna give you a few examples of items you can write off to start getting those juices flowing. Number one, your phone bill. It is so hard to think of a job that doesn't require the use of a phone. And since you need cell phone service to do your work, it is a partial write-off. Unless you have a business line that is solely used for work purposes, not mindlessly scrolling on Instagram or ordering a new two-piece set for your dog on Etsy, that does not count. So let's say you only have one phone and you use it for business and personal use. First, you have to determine the percentage of time that is dedicated to business use and the percentage of time dedicated to personal use. So we'll just go with 50% business use. Now let's say your phone bill is $60 a month. If you claim it as a 50% write-off on your taxes, then you can save $108 on taxes and here is how I got that number. So if your phone bill is $60 and you multiply by 50%, that is $30. Now let's say you're in the 30% tax bracket. That'll save you $9 a month, and when you multiply that by 12, we get $108 for the year in savings on our cell phone bill. Now, are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? In addition to your phone bill, you can also write off software like Adobe Photoshop if you're a freelance designer, project management software like Trello or Monday, and even bookkeeping services. Number three, car expenses and mileage. You can also write off car expenses or mileage, and I will deep dive into this in another video, but essentially, we recommend using the actual expense method when dealing with your car because tracking mileage can be a hassle and you can only deduct one or the other. Number four, equipment and supplies. If there are any items that you need to get your job done effectively and efficiently, 
efficiently, you can write off those items on your taxes. For example, if you are a grocery delivery driver, you need to carry tons of groceries to your customer's door. You may invest in a push cart or a wagon to be more efficient on your job. That is a tax write-off. Let's say that you're a rideshare driver and you need a phone mount to hold your phone so you can see the map efficiently. You can also write that off on your taxes. And a couple of other things I want to share with you that you can write off are things like transportation, meaning public transportation, or even ride share, meals, rent, utilities, and Wi-Fi, and even educational expenses. So fun fact, I used to be a pastry chef, and in order to work as a freelance chef, I had to be surf safe certified. Oh, that's a tongue twister. Meaning I had to pay for and take a class and then take a test for the certification. So this is an example of an educational expense that you can write off on your taxes. If you guys would like me to dive deeper into specific write-off examples, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I want to make sure that I mention a couple of things that are not eligible to be written off. So we've been talking a lot about things that are deductible, but you also have to be careful. Some things may seem like they're write-offs, but they are not. For example, clothing. So to qualify as a possible write-off, the clothing has to meet two basic requirements. You have to wear it for work, and you would only wear it for work. For example, scrubs for doctors and nurses. So these clothing items are specifically for a job. And you don't see Mary Ann strutting down Rodeo Drive with her fresh pressed scrubs on for Sunday brunch. So that would be a write-off. But other uniforms like a plain black shirt and khaki pants may not qualify for a write-off because you can honestly wear them on any given day and any occasion. The next thing that may seem like a write-off but isn't is lunch on your own. So lunch on your own is not deductible. In order for a meal to be deductible, you have to be traveling or they have to have some sort of business connection like a business lunch. And third, health and beauty products are not write-offs. We can't write them off, y'all. Everyone with 1099 income, no matter how much it is, should be claiming tax write-offs. It is the key to having a reasonable tax bill. With that being said, in the comments below, please let me know if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video. And if you would like more easy to digest tax content, make sure you give this video a like. And if you're not already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications are on so you can get all of the alerts so you can stay up to date on all things self-employed taxes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope you learned something and I will see you in the next one.